Facebook A Nashville nurse has captured the hearts of millions by tearfully singing to a dying woman awaiting AR transplant. Margaret Smith, 63, was hospitalized at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, where nurse Olivia Neufelder sang sang Dancing in the Sky by Danny and Lizzie at her bedside every day, Indostar.com reported. Smith was too sick with cancer to undergo the surgery, so Neufelder decided to sing in an effort to allay her fear and grief. Family friend Crystal Hamilton Roberts captured the heart-wrenching scene on video, which Smith's daughter, Megan Smith, shared on Facebook. This nurse sat with my mom four hours while the medicine from too much anesthesia and sang a very special song to my sweet mother to comfort her, Megan wrote along with the video. You never left her side by choice words cannot describe the appreciation and love we feel for nurse Olivia who mom calls her angel she said. Your dedication to your patients is beyond any that I have seen, you truly are a beam of light and I cannot thank you enough for the compassion and care and love you shared for my mother. God bless you Olivia The video, which was taken October 12, garnered more than 3.6 million views by Friday afternoon. Miss Marg has touched my heart in such an indescribable way. I am so humbled and honored to be a nurse. My thoughts and prayers are forever with this amazing family, Neufelder wrote on Facebook, where she also shared the touching clip. Roberts announced that Smith died Wednesday at a nursing home, six days after being told she would not be able to receive AR but she did and leave the hospital without the voice of an angel singing her on, Roberts said in her post. If all nurses would take the time and care for patients like Ms. Olivia I believe we would see a lot more healing, Roberts wrote. Neufelder told News Channel 5 that Smith did and feel like a patient to her. There was almost a sense of peace knowing that it was her favorite song and she did tell me it's the song she once played at her funeral, she said. Smith is survived by a daughter and son in their early 20s.